With this Tripwire Trap Hack Pack project, you can fire the IR turret remotely using several different types of Arduino sensors and all but one come from the Year One bots. I created one code to accept all these sensors as triggers for different scenarios. You just have to select which mode you want to use. And most important of all, this is long range. What I thought was going to be a fairly straightforward project turned out to be full of frustrating surprises. Why isn't this working? Hours were spent debugging two major errors caused by seemingly insignificant differences. And a simple oversight caused multiple failed attempts to get it working. Oddly enough, the new component was one of the easiest to get working. Nice. That was easy. To get this project started, let's steal our sensors. From the other bots, not really steal them. After one year, you have quite a few different components from all the bots. That's one of the perks of the hack packs. And all of these can be used for other Arduino projects, whether it's hack pack or not. While you could connect these directly to the IR turret, it would be difficult to put the IR turret in an ideal spot without running long wires from any. To fix that, I just grabbed the IR transmitter from the laser tag and decided to make a portable trigger unit. The big question, how far can it still work? We've got our setup for the hallway. Now we just need to check to see how far we can get. So. Five feet. Oh yeah. And we are good. For the basic trigger, I copied the needed code from the laser tag. Now we code all the other sensors to work. The domino switch works the same as a trigger button, but defaults is triggered until pressed in with the same code. Think of it like the switch on your refrigerator that comes on when the door opens. You can change the evaluation from low to high, or vice versa, to get the opposite response based on your situation. Considering I had already coded the ultrasonic distance sensor in the Squid Games, oh, oh. <sighs> didn't win that one. I figured that would be an easy one to grab and set up. I was wrong. Having a little bit of problems with this. So I've got the distance sensor. This is the one from the balance spot. Trying to incorporate this as a trigger and my code's not working. I'm getting an extra zero between all of the distances and I don't know why. So I had a question. What happens if I do that with the old one? So this is the one that I created the game with before I got the balance spot. This is from a different kit and realized that they look different. They are the exact same HCS04 sensor, ultrasonic distance sensor. But when you look at the back, they have quite a big difference between what the back is showing. But as soon as I plug this one in, I get the distance exactly the way I was expecting to see it. So apparently I've got two different distance sensors and the one doesn't like how I'm handling it with the new code, which is somewhat of a problem because the whole idea of this code is using the balance spot distance sensor, which means I need to change my code. And so I did, and now it works. But while I added some new triggers, why isn't this working? The IR transmitter stopped working. It must be due to the code, but I don't know what I changed that caused the issue. After four hours of debugging and isolating all the code, I finally found the issue. One line of code was switched for organization, but apparently it was needed in a specific order. I had never run across this before and didn't even know you could do this. I guess you learn something every day. I finished up the rest of the code and it was time to try it out. The first few tests didn't go so well since I kept triggering the sensor as I turned it on before I could get out of the view. Made me realize I should add a simple delay in the setup and now we are ready to fire. If you enjoyed this video and want to see all the wiring and code, check out this live stream going over every bit of it and don't forget to subscribe.